Hello everybody, Chester Cash here, and today we'll be talking about 20 things you can add into your Minecraft world. Number one, you don't know what to build? Build something that you enjoy watching or doing. I enjoy watching Star Wars, and I live in a sand crawler on the Lotus SMP. And here's another idea for another movie reference, King Kong. Maybe movies aren't your thing, but you also enjoy playing games, such as over here in Lotus SMP, we have a replica of Tanglewood, and I'm gonna get out of here before I die. Maybe building something that's from movies and games isn't your thing. Idea number two, you can build gardens. Here in Riverton, we got an Allium garden, we got some Lilac gardens, we got a rosebush garden over there. We got the warp stuff over there. We got gardens everywhere. Sunflower garden there. A member of the Lotus community, Dinesto, also has a garden. And if you're also a content creator, maybe you can dedicate a garden to your subscribers, like Squid. Maybe you don't want a little small garden. Well, that's just fine. You can place a whole flower field, just like Squid did on her allium fields. Or maybe tiny flowers don't give you the satisfaction you need. You could also build a bigger flower, like Squid's big allium, which is also and squid's allium field. Keeping with the nature side, you could also build trees like these giant sequoias or that big pine tree. Of course, your tree doesn't have to be a real tree. It could be based off of fantasy, like Spidey's, or another example, like squid's amethyst trees here. Maybe you don't want to build one tree, so you can build multiple, like Peanut's forest in his quarry area. Who said the trees had to be living either? You can build dead trees like these that are built on the path to the spooky island, or your tree can double down as a portal, like this one at spooky island. Maybe nature stuff isn't your thing and you're more of a farming person. Well, that's just fine, because maybe you can encase your farms in building like equally Izzy's villager area. And on the note of nether portals, maybe you don't want another portal just out in the open like this one. You can put one in the cliff like this portal, or you can theme your portal like this one. And if something like that doesn't suit you, you can put it in a building like Yogi's. Maybe the thing you do in Minecraft when you're bored is fishing, so go ahead and build a fishing dock and start fishing. Maybe you want more than just the normal Minecraft plants that we have, so go ahead and make yourself some custom cattails like we have in Riverton, or maybe some lily pads. Maybe you don't want to do something with plants. Well, that's fine, because you could also build a pond. And on top of that, you'll also get a waterfall or you can build a grander scale waterfall like the one at Moople's place maybe you got builds scattered around the area and things like paths can also make it look like it's all connected they're also a fun thing to walk around when you're bored along with connecting things with paths you can connect things with bridges like that bridge and that bridge and this bridge or even bridges like these Maybe you gotta build like a lumber yard and you need a story of how the lumber got here. We have a bantha carrying a wagon of lumber. Maybe you're in a magical mood and wanna build a magical library like the one that Seaman built for Squid. And with spooky season around the corner, you can build a dungeon. Maybe you wanna show how your world is progressing. You could do a map room on the floor like this one at Squid's base, or you can do a table like the one in my base. There's my sand crawler. Maybe you're one of those players who enjoy mining. So you can task yourself with a project of digging a big hole all the way down. I can't even see the bottom. That's one. Last but not least, you can make buildings without functionality, such as this cafe area in Pineapple City, or this bookshop in Pineapple City. This idea of not giving the builds functionality gives the buildings a sense of life. Anyways, that is all I have for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed the 20 ideas. At least I think it was 20 ideas. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!